First, you will need to place the heavy-duty wheels through the bottom of the scaffold. Once all the wheels are in place, pull up the scaffold and place it into position by opening it up. Once open, unlock the pins and pull back the scaffold to adjust its length. The extendable scaffold has the ability to be used at 1.2 meters or 2 meters in length. In this video, we will be building the scaffold at a working length of 2 meters. Once you have the scaffold at 2 meters, lock the pins back into place to secure the base frame. Adjust the extendable brace to the correct size and lock in the safety pins. Place the horizontal brace by clipping and securing it onto the first rung. Push the platform through the second rung of the scaffold frame and lock it into place. Adjust the next brace one clip higher to be used diagonally. Clip the brace onto the rung, fold by another diagonal brace all the way to the top of the base frame. Remove the clips from the top of the frame and place the guardrails, securing them by re-adding the clips. Add the horizontal braces that are used as a top and handrail for added safety to the guardrails. Add the second platform through the top of the base frame and secure it using the clips. Remove the initial platform and place it onto the same level as the second platform making sure to also secure it. Attach the first arm of the stabilizer just underneath the platform. The second arm will be added underneath to create a 90 degree angle to the frame. Adjust the leg as required to secure it onto the floor. Open both the man hatch and ladder hatch of the platform and push the ladder through, placing it onto the middle rung of the guardrail. Adjust the size of the ladder arm by undoing the clip and then reclipping it once it is secured onto the frame. Climb the ladder through the ladder hatch and secure the tow boards into place around the platforms.